All right, I have a short but potent little bit of relationship advice. Actually, it's not me, it's biblical, it's from the Bible. And I have this feeling that if we just did this one thing, that we would have healthier relationships, less um, strife and conflict in relationships, fewer broken relationships, but also we'd have this added benefit. I think we would become less sour-faced women. Ooh, think about it. Think of a woman you know, maybe it's been you in the past, I know it's been me in the past, where I took offense pretty easily and I started to kind of drip with resentment and I was going around criticizing this person, I can't believe they did this, and I have, I had a sour face. I was just kind of dripping with this resentment and it was kind of ugly. I don't want to have an ugly face. <laughs> like, you know what, I, don't, I know you don't either. So what if we try this little bit of biblical advice. I'm going to quote it from Proverbs 19.11 in the NIV. It says, A person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offense. Ooh, it's to your glory to overlook an offense. In other words, stop being so easily offended. Stop taking everything so personally. Stop being offended. Let me quote the same verse in the NLT, NLT translation. It says, sensible people control their temper. They earn respect by overlooking wrongs. Do you overlook wrongs or do you dwell on them? And then start dripping with resentment and you're starting to criticize them and point out their flaws to other people because you just can't believe they treated you this way. I think we've all done that. Well, I know I've done that. And this, these couple of verses are convicting me. I also want to quote, from the famous love passage in 1 Corinthians 13, this is the Amplified Translation for verse 4, it says, Love is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not provoked, not overly sensitive and easily angered, it does not take into account a wrong endured. In other words, the person that practices love like this, this biblical love, is not easily offended just lets it go. Unless, I mean, and I do want to throw out this caveat, if someone is really sinning against you, they're just verbally abusing you or physically abusing you or something like pretty harmful, okay, boundaries are appropriate. But I think much of the time, we just become easily offended because it's like it hits our pride. They didn't treat us the way that we thought we should be treated. Maybe it's time to let some of that stuff go. You'll have healthier relationships, few fractured, fewer fractured relationships, and your countenance will be more joyful, and you will no longer be a sour-faced shrew.